I think, I think we got two early copies of um, Lineage, which was super fast because there's dozens more on the way that they're not slated till after Halloween, I don't think. So mm -hmm. um, I think that's what this is. If it's not, you won't see this video. <laughs> but wow, that would be very, very fast if it did come in. Also, Halloween. You're welcome, yes. Stephen King fans. <laughs> I should, probably shouldn't have given that away, but most people get it. Ooh. Try another. Yeah, be, be very, very gentle. Oh, yeah, <gasps> it's it. Oh, look, and there's my handsome husband. Look at that gray hair. <laughs> Ooh. Wow! They look awesome. Ooh. I like that glossy cover. Yeah, that's the first time we've done glossy, right? Yeah, yeah. none of the other books have the. Um, let me let me stop moving it. Let me so we can get it. it in the light. Ooh. Have the glossy cover to them. That's cool. They're all matte finish, but yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. I'm so I like the graphic. It came out really nice, and the font looks good. The spine looks good. Oh yeah, let's check out the spine. Because this is what everyone sees when it's on the shelf. Mm -hmm. nice. And it was going to have the that graphic right there, but, but it just wouldn't fit. It argued. Um, it template. would, but it just it wasn't. I wasn't guaranteed to have it not shift a, just a tiny bit on printing mm -hmm. per book, and I didn't want the three that are in the series are all they're all going to have that kind of they were going to have that logo on the end. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't want him doing like that on the bookshelf, you know, so it sucked. <laughs> but the back looks good. The ISBN looks good. Look at that. That's awesome. The gray hair. We should have done that in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> See what the inside looks like. Ooh. Damn, did they include a color? I'll say no. But I like that black and white. Yeah, it does look cool. The, um... I like the cream colored paper too. Mm -hmm. It's a nice contrast with the white. There you go. For you. Oh, that's for me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see Thank if the you. Uh, other. So the contents, at least it's got the chapter and the page, so that's good. Mm hmm. And let's make sure that the. Uh, now, that was something that kind of was a, a legacy. Of the template of the of the fact that this gets uploaded to Amazon, but they pull both the Kindle version and the print version from that. Yeah, right? we used uh, I used Create uh, KDP Create to do this one. Um, my previous novels I did by myself, and I did all those in PDFs with HTML. But I tried their software this time, and it was awesome. I really like it. And so Preface the, looks good. So the reason, just to kind of explain why the there is a table of contents in a novel is because when you're in a Kindle, you can then kind of hop around. Yeah, you can when click you're, around. When you're reading it in the Kindle, you can hop around and that's hyperlink. Speaking of which, let's look at the back and see if they did. This was printed in mid Middletown, Delaware, it looks like. Oh, no wonder it was so. On cute. October 11th. No wonder it was so fast. That's why it's it like came right from the like. What, one state away. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Oh, cool. And look, there's all of his other. And those are all, um, in the Kindle edition, they're all hyperlinked, so you can actually click around. Cool. And then... That's freaking cool, man. It came out nice. Yay. Let's see if the title card for uh, the sneak peek came through. Is it 110 chapters, right? 110? Yep. Yay. Yay. Heritage book two. Okay, but we're not going to show you that side because you got to read book one. No, first. you can't see the side. <laughs> that looks really good, though. I'm happy. Get a picture of you smiling with it's that. A, it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, no, no. I I mean, remember the other ones that we sized out and we were like, oh, this is going to be a lot of pages. Well, I just didn't, when I wrote them, I didn't think that they were very big novels. I didn't, well, and that's a trade paperback. So if you think about like a hardback, which is going to be a bigger size, that's going to have more words on the page, so it would be a little thinner. But a trade paperback, man, that's yeah. that that's nice because people really feel like they're getting like that's a bang for that's their a, buck, that's man. A big one. That's a six by nine, and what was it about four hundred and eighty pages? Something like that. 
four hundred and about sixty four hundred and seventy pages, so including the preview and the, the yeah that, that yeah that everything has, in the chapter right, the title and table contents the table contents and all that, and all that yeah stuff. but man that's so about four hundred four hundred fifty pages worth of reading and heritage is actually heritage might be just a tad under this so about the same yeah almost almost identical actually and then the third one. <laughs> The third one we're is just gonna, not even going to talk it's about gonna that. It's going to look like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like that for what, sure. It'll what's up, huge. Deathly Hallows Part 1 I and know, 2? I know, man. <laughs> I don't want to break it up either. <laughs> but it might have to. The second, one's, the second one will be out on Black Friday, hopefully, if all goes well through the editing process. But all right. The, hold it up one last process. time so yeah, everybody can let's... see it. So, guys, this will be... It's available for pre-order right now on Kindle. On Ki on Kindle, and then um, if you want the paperback, you can get it right now. And apparently, it comes from Delaware, so it comes really fast. Yeah. And um, that looks good, man. And if you read it, um, whether you get it on um, pre-order and you read it, start reading it on Friday, or if you get the paperback and it comes really fast. The biggest thing that helps books is reviews. So yeah, if you can take a moment to review it on Amazon or Goodreads or both, that really, really helps because then other people know what the book experience is like. Yeah, Amazon does some crazy stuff with their uh, analytics if there's a review attached to something versus not. Um, we learned that with the elves when it got flooded with reviews and then on Goodreads it went like it climbed up the charts ended mm -hmm. up on a couple of top 10 lists and everything and it was like overnight it was shocking but uh yeah i'm, I'm happy Yay! i'm happy with that that one came last, out pretty good pretty well one last zoom in look <laughs> at that guys yay it's a book i like that they got the shadow on the text yeah yes that's good All awesome right. thank you